guys vince ready here i saw three episodes of pop star academy cat's eye you know the cat's eye documentary and before i begin i i was already familiar with k-pop from a young age i remember back in the philippines i i saw like you know like my first ever taste of k-pop for some reason it didn't show in the u.s when i was in the u.s before i came to the philippines but then i discovered like girls generation and of course uh you know one of my favorites back in the day was after school if you were an og k-pop fan then you probably might remember these names but of course i i i, I of course know new jeans and also bts black pink you know the the obvious you know what i mean uh last facerum you know last facerum i think that's how you say it they uh did a collaboration with overwatch i, I mean it's still a big deal out there and I feel like all every time when I hear the term girl group or boy group, it always has to be from Asia. It always has to be from Korea. It's like Korea is the factory of just these girl groups and boy groups, which makes sense because they're the most successful. But the thing is, is that it's heartbreaking knowing that uh, there's a lot of, you know, the world's a big place. Give the West a chance. Can you just give freaking Africa a chance? Can you give Europe a chance of just making a girl group? Because I guarantee you they can make it. And then, well, here we are. Here we are. Even though there's some girls in here that are from, you know, the region, you know, like, like from regions that are close to Korea or whatever. I don't think there's any that are from Korea. Like they're from close there, if you know what I mean. You know, other countries just use your geography, you know, for a minute. But yeah, th you know, here we are with a girl group that has no Koreans. That's good. I mean, I wouldn't know, actually. I have maybe some of them could be half. I freaking don't know. But there's a mixture here. And also, I just only watched three Fs, so I'm not the best, especially not being a K-pop fan. I'm just not. I've witnessed K-pop recently with the conventions that I went to. Like, some of these anime conventions have K-pop circles where you can actually dance in whenever a song starts. Like, one, two, three, you know, and then it plays a song, and then you have to mimic, mimic that dance with alongside with other people. It's kind of cool community thing, and I miss seeing that. Uh, I don't really see that much with other conventions. Actually, I haven't been going to other conventions. I've been saving my money for travel, but yeah. Like, that's pretty much my uh, experience as of recently. And who knows? Maybe one of those dancers were in that circle was actually here in this, you know, part of this band. Like, we, you know, introduced to girls like, like you know, Naisha or um, Angelica. Uh, man, I forget some of the names. I'm going to be honest as much. Listen, I already told you that I'm not a K-pop fan. I'm also not a Cat's Eye fan. Can I say that? I'm watching this because of the dance aspect and the progress of them becoming either singer dancers. Because here's the thing. I'm a dancer myself. I'm a break dancer. I'm also, uh, I used to do performances in the past. So, and also battles as well. You know, I'm still part of like, you know, certain, you know, dance battles and here and there. And this is the closest that actually comes to it. I don't know. Maybe there's another documentary for, for you know, dancers like me or something like that. But this is like the newest in the most popular one, if that makes sense. And I'm watching for that aspect. Like I mostly tend to focus on the floors and how nice the studios are and how nice the places that they're dancing in more than the characters itself. Not to say that the characters weren't interesting. They were human. They're, but the thing is, is that they're kids. They're young. And pretty much, I don't know how ambitious these girls are. Some of them have their own freaking apartment in the age of 17 how the freak do you have your own freaking apartment in the age of 17 i'm gonna sound like an old man but what the heck seriously listen there's parents there's certain human beings in this planet like me that still live with their parents okay unfortunately even though it's not unfortunate but you know where do you where do we go from there? I don't know. Maybe it was she was going through some stuff. There was this girl that, you know, was uh, from Brazil and she lived in an apartment in London and has to give it away or something like that. I'm like, how do you even own that in the first place? <laughs> what was the progress in London, actually? You know, and isn't that place expensive to rent? Shoot, that'd be a different story if you were freaking buying an apartment in freaking Paris, France. 
or in freaking San Francisco. Oh, don't get me started. Don't get me started. Don't freaking tell me that you're like your rich daddy, mommy, or whatever. And here's the thing. I don't know the parents of many of these dancers. Matter of fact, I don't even know any of them. But we get to hear the story and who they are of just like an artistic, you know, point of view. And some of it could remind us as artists and as dancers that, oh, we, we, we've been in that rut before. We've been in that challenge. And some of them are very disciplined of just like having, you know, the most disciplined that some of these people that are training, you know, these, you know, you know, future pop stars for Cat's Eye or for whatever label that they're, you know, it's something that they're trained them to actually become suddenly perfect. So it's kind of building them into this point. And we see dancers were like up in the top and something happens. It's like, how did you hurt your leg? How did that happen? You know? like certain setbacks that really does make them worry and some of their dreams are crushed because of the you know harsh judges and how the reality starts in so not a lot of them are successful and privileged to get where they are whoever is on this you know ballot right here who's like on the page as you can see the, the future cat's eye even though there was a part of me where i swear i saw other dancers that were part of it like i i, I just swore i saw like you know what is it this um, you know, like Naisha being part of it. I swear I saw the girl from Colorado being part of it, even though she got dropped early. But yeah, it just seems like all of them slaying, killing, and pretty much like just having the a better performance out of all of them. But it goes through like a roller coaster and their worries are showcased. A lot of their feelings are showcased. And, you know, it, it, it's just kind of familiar seeing that especially how young they are and how they're not really like you know develop in much in terms of like uh artistic aspect you know artistic point of view but also like an adult or independent point of view because there's technically they're still kids because they're not even like you know they're not even 21 yet <laughs> like some of these are not like legal to drink and also they're just like already being you know top tier pop stars or something i don't know how that works at all i don't even know what generation we're in where that's like is that acceptable or not i'm just like is it because here's the thing like you know we are so used to seeing pop stars especially in the west become like at least 21 or something but i don't know i'm, I'm just focusing i'm too much focusing on the age range more than anything because the thing is that this pop star is sort of might reach to the levels like blackpink once they grow older matter of fact how old is blackpink they have to be my age they have to be in their late 20s at this point right but anyways yeah the the show is uh you know like it it's overwhelming interesting it's tense nerve-wracking the whole time you're just like oh oh no what's gonna happen to this girl she's gonna get dropped she's gonna get dropped their best performance would not be the best in the next day like they would have to go through something to through all that pain especially their dreams being crushed and their parents support and something like that you hear a lot of background just like who these girls are and pretty much yeah it's showcase this is basically for the fans this is for the fans of cat's eye and for me as a fan of dance i enjoy it for just like how how it is when it comes down to going to hollywood just to be a better dancer just to be a better artist and what it takes even though I never really reached to that point, but I know I can feel it whenever I'm out there and, you know, performing and, you know, I love performing and pretty much as performers, this would be like a treat in a ways because you really are hitting all the notes and everything just to be perfect, but not everything is perfect. I don't know. I only saw three eps. And also, I'm not a K-pop fan or a Cat's Eye fan. I'm not either of those K-fans, okay? But anyways, you could be a fan if you use this guy that's trying to a little... Anyways, I'll see you when I see you. That's it. That's all I got. What do you want from me? One love and a peace. God bless.